Hey guys, Michael here. I haven't seen you in a few weeks here on this channel and that's, well, always a bummer. Sauce. Today, we head down a weird path. Whatever. Blah, blah, blarmageddon. Just like when you pee your pants. Except your pants are the entire planet and the P stands for plutonium. Ugh. This is a fresh A. Were their brains clairvoyant? Can our brains see into the future? As it turns out, no. Hey Vsauce, Michael here. You are Mr. Gay. I can break or poke into or cut something. Yay. With teeth. Oh, and Earth is booking it. Meaning that picking your nose is gross, but every once in a while, a booger could literally be out of this world. Real history. I literally dipped into their DNA to make myself. Gyro elongating the pentagonal bipyramid is not a task for the faint of heart. All right, thanks Michael, we really appreciate it, man. Yeah, it's... definitely. What are you guys doing right now? Oh, we, we gotta go, we got more ingredients to get, don't worry about I, it. I can help you for sure, you want some, I got spit facts. I had to then clean out a rotten, fungus-filled tentacle pot. It was great. Welcome to 4151417. That's really what I am. I'm not so much the Bill Nye of YouTube, I'm the dad of iDubs. Basically what I'm trying to say is when you want to tell someone you like that you think they are hot, so hot that not even science can understand it, just call them a Kugelblitz. Also, if someone watches this video but only watches like half of it, they're like, oh, blue! Blue's Michael's favorite color and they'll send me all kinds of blue fan mail and I will hate it. Nothing. The magnet just doesn't care at all. Today, let's clothe our minds with knowledge on Michael's toys. Sucking is not attractive. So thank you, randomness. Thank you, even more, statistics. And as always, thanks for watching. <coughs> He's just a little hammer, don't hurt him. Did you drink it? No, I didn't, if mom's watching. If you kind of like somebody, have them stand three quarters of a millimeter away from you. No hole will be left unfilled. Oh my gosh. Hey Vsauce, Michael here. What is the biggest number you can think of? A Google? A Googleplex? A millinillion Olplex? Well, in reality, the biggest number is 40. And I love imagining the way some sort of extraterrestrial might see the world if they saw the world by literally reaching out some kind of organ, attaching it to a surface, and then seeing that surface through a fiber optic kind of eyeball. Man, there's a whole bunch of squares out on the, there's a whole bunch of squares on the trophy shelf. That's right, we got a trophy shelf. It's where we keep our squares. Because in reality, being square is the real prize. You cannot beat it. Hey, Vsauce, Michael here. A human running like a quadruped is creepy. Gussin is when you say bad words that will cause Gosh to send you down to heck. Oh yeah. You want to become more educated. something you can try at home. Build a nuclear reactor. I like it pretty short. Pretty short? Yeah, yeah I don't like too. that big I like man. them short and thick. Yeah. Yeah? But what if that nourishment came not from a loving mother, but from a scary wire mother? Can you do better? Probably. And let us know that you wear the pants. 
how beautiful. Nope. <laughs> this is, this is All great. Right. Okay. No way, that came on before I pushed the button. I didn't do it. Clearly, science cannot be flipped upside down and still say science? <laughs> Spending our, our Monday watching balls move. <coughs> Yikes, those things are made out of razor blades. Yeah, but don't worry, Michael. Did you know that our stomach acids can dissolve a razor blade in less than a week? I did not know that. You wanna try one? Let's try one. All right, check back with us in 10 days. Uh, can I get some salt? Oh. Mm. And some ketchup. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's actually what I love about these glasses. If there's no eclipse going on, you can still just look at the sun, notice that it's a ball, maybe imagine what kind of napkin ring you'd like to make it into. You might already know the pattern if you're a big fan of fibbing. <laughs> Does that mean that I am a bipus or a dipus? Dipussel? Yes, it does. Welcome to another episode of Michael Draws on Pieces of White Cardstock. Meets Michael's Toys. Come on, little cereal flaky. Yeah. Look at that. Hello, my name is Michael and welcome to Dawn, the first and only YouTube channel made by, of, and for teens who like cooking. Today, we're going to be talking about babies. My tea is quite hot, but it's not the hottest thing in the universe. Hey, Vsauce, Michael here, and I am in the bathroom at VidCon. This is awesome. You are really soft and warm, by the way. Really? Yeah. No smells, right? No smells at all. Uh -huh. Are you wearing a deodorant or a cologne? A deodorant. Yeah, me too. I don't like the antiperspirants. I don't get that sweaty. I would love to be a crime scene cleanup crew member. Today, we're going to get close. Like, really close. Prepare to get blown. Well, let's unpack all these terms and today learn about geography. I may have failed geography. Can I find someone else? <laughs> also, I am made out of Vsauce. But we're not done. One of my favorite things about shapes is all the different shapes they come in. What if I requested to have my body stuffed and mounted in some hilarious position? Take a look at the ghost thumb. This is very cool. I am so honored and excited and still a bit nervous because of where the stickers all went. So, because of the magic of a TV cooking show, I prepared an electromagnet earlier. Oh yeah, it's ready. This is good. This is really good. Okay. Now. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah. Ooh. Perfect. Oh yeah. Whew. Hey, just like mom used to make. Um, we've got here a big battery and we've got a nail that is just coiled with lots and lots of wire. Um, I think that we let the uh, paper clips simmer long enough. I'm gonna go ahead and put them there on our aluminum foil. No matter where you are or who you are or what your friends or your parents tell you, you really scientifically are the center of the universe. Vsauce. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. But not you, Vanessa. <laughs> Well, to be sure, you already have the moon in your hands. Hi, my name is Michael, and on this episode of Michael's Toys, we are going to be playing with... Blocks. I'm sure you've played with blocks before and have noticed that it's quite fun to put one block on top of another. <laughs> it stays. I don't even know. They don't belong to me, but I still do what I want with them. Can you spell the word magic? Uh, certainly. I'll do it though. I still haven't drank water. This is coffee. I've never had water in my life. This is getting me all wet. Their lives would be completely different, but they wouldn't be wrong. They would just be different. So, there's an analogy or some kind of metaphor or parable in there somewhere, I'm sure. 
Now that I've better wrapped my head around five million miles per hour, let's look at five million knees. Corn can be found. I weigh about 190 pounds. How much will the video weigh? We have to talk about expansion. A cat is made out of air, water, and cat food. So is blue not your favorite color? Not at all. My favorite color is yellow. And those people will be called, well, they'll be called my children. These are very powerful magnets and I'm gonna drop them. Ta-da! I'm a ninja. There are the same number of even numbers as there are even and odd numbers. Anarchy! <laughs> Can I just give you some spit facts? You know, digestion begins in the mouth. Hey, Vsauce. Michael here. All right, I'm gonna go now. And of course, by now, I mean I will leave 80 milliseconds before you become aware that I've left. And this book was so popular, Peter Newell wrote a follow-up creatively titled Topsies and Turvies Number Two. <laughs> I mean, couldn't you have thought of something better? Like, imagine if I'd been like, hey, my channel's called Vsauce, and this other one's called Vsauce Two, and the... Hey, Vsauce, Michael here. Earth only contains 1,066 people. Hey, Vsauce, Michael here. Every cloud has a silver lining. Except nuclear mushroom clouds, which have a lining of strontium-90, cesium-137, and other radioactive isotopes. And the word is dong. Dong. Is that something you eat? What we're gonna need for this recipe is a really nice big nail. You're also going to need, um, let's see, this one looks good. Oh, perfect, yeah. You're gonna need some copper wire. It's thinly insulated. It looks like, it looks like if you inhaled this stuff, you'd be in a lot of trouble. Why is this coming apart so much? I wonder if I could eat it. Ah, uh, you know what? The table is salty from like, having sweaty hands and sweaty Michael around it. <sighs> this episode is supposed to be about optics properties, not taste, but... <sighs> uh, now there's a bunch on my tongue. What ha What happened to that? Why is it shedding? I can do what I want. Okay. So, here we go. Take that away, get rid of this message, and we're left with this string of symbols. Now, parents can have children that are not you. But let's get hotter. You couldn't make a prism out of, you know, justice. Are you not part of the Illuminati? No, I'm not cool enough yet. Wow, I remember when I first joined, I had to go through all the rituals, and I had to, like, agree to take over the world, and I've already said too much. Hey, Vsauce, Michael here. Do you want to be infected with Ebola without having to leave your own home or deal with other people? Well, you might be in luck. All those poor chickens. Yeah. Lives aren't even worth more than 25 bucks. Everywhere I go, purple are always asking me, is it Monday now? And I say to them, dot com. <laughs> That's right, I've got a lot of dongs to deliver. Water, you guys doing all the way down there. Remember this friend from earlier that we made? Well, we're gonna dissect him. So, which is it, Mr. I cannot tell a lie? Oh, and don't even ask about 1752. Oh. I did not take any DNA from their pool. And as always, thanks for watching. 
I jak zawsze dziękujemy za uwagę! Vsauce Cupcakes! So yeah, I'm alone, hanging out with some art and, um, well, doing my laundry. My favorite way is the heat death. Oh, hello. Welcome to Michael's Toys, the first and only show on YouTube made by Oven for teenagers who like to cook. I'm your host, Michael Stevens, and today we are going to be talking about magnets, specifically the strongest magnetic field my body has ever been inside. Touch is problematic. You are made out of a lot of edible things. In fact, the taller you are, the further back from now, the further back in the past you live. But more importantly, why do we call emotional, relationship-based movies targeted at females chick flicks? Hey, Vsauce, Michael here. Enter the dumb hole. You guys, you guys think I'm obsessed with shapes. Well, just you wait. So even if you have a really cool idea for how your body could be embalmed forever and displayed in a funny, weird, or bizarre way, you're not going to get permission to do so. Hopefully I don't die. Dang it, this is too real. You all right, buddy? Hey, Vsauce, Michael here. Vsauce robbery here. Yeah, just get- Just the spit? Yeah. A, a, a cost a little bit more. Get a couple of Red Bull? What the heck? Where are you going after this? I guess the only thing doctors have really concluded is that they make me horny. Who are you? Well, if you want to find out, you have come to the right episode of Michael Draws on Pieces of White Cardstock. Bring the coffee. Let's ask the spirits. If you were to use your taste buds, to taste your bud, what would it taste like? Oh! I'm sweating in weird places. Okay, me too. <laughs> These frozen juice bags are not doing the job very quick. What's up? <laughs> you, obviously. <laughs> you little astronaut. You are now a professor of optics. Nice. If you look close enough at a lie, you can find that which is true. The, the atoms in this coffee, hundreds of them, were once peed out of Albert Einstein. Thank you for joining me on this dong journey. And as always, thanks for watching. You know how that saying goes, you can't make a gyro elongated square by pyramid without dropping a few tiles. <laughs> Got me through a lot of rough parts in my life. I have a lot of opinions about diarrhea. The universe will have died in a heat death. <laughs> See you there. Today, I've got some sad news actually. This is the last time you will see me. I love you all. And as always, thanks for watching. Dog. Third place tastes like not having to eat <laughs> room temperature cheese. I think that's pretty clever, but I will suggest that that doesn't make any sense. Hey guys. We also know that babies laugh before they learn a language, and that babies born blind and deaf will laugh. There are thousands of languages, hundreds of thousands of dialects, but yet we all laugh in much the same way. Our brains are constantly looking for patterns, ways of understanding the world and predicting what's next. It's to our evolutionary advantage. And so when something begins in a way that we expect, and then all of a sudden changes and surprises or delights us, we often react with laughter because we have just learned something. It's gonna be busy, but right now we're talking about balls. Do we dare raise a binomial to the fourth power? <laughs> of course not. Thank you, Irrational Numbers, for keeping it real. Beanbags are awesome. <laughs> oh, I knew it. Hey, iDubs TV, Michael from Vsauce here, and today we're learning about the youth. <laughs> Geometry? More like G. And as always, thanks for watching. Okay. Wonderful. Here we go. Are you ready? I'm, I'm so ready. Okay. Here we go. What up, ding dongers? I'm 12, 7, 13, 7, 14, 7, 15, 7. 
15, 7, 16, 7, 17, 7. Pause. Let's just take a brief moment to appreciate the tan line on my face caused by my glasses. Can you tell a story ambigramiously? Yes, you can. And that is what makes you not a cousin. I'm not embarrassed to say this, but I love the metric system. Yep, anyway. Oh, oh, we're filming? <laughs> How embarrassing. Did you know that the pepper is full of capsaicin, which <laughs> stimulates pain receptors in the yeah. tongues of mammals? So you can actually see this happening if you watch people sleep, like I usually do. So it's like Vsauce, but grown up. Down weighs about a hundredth of a gram per cubic centimeter. It is light and airy, which makes it a great source of insulation and buoyancy for water birds. I probably have the least famous hands, but the most hairy. Octopi? Pfft, no. I will keep going though because your knowledge is more important than my health. <laughs> hey, Vsauce! Michael here. Oh, what a score, dude. Uh, do, do you think we can get some spit from you, dude? Yeah. You want some spit facts, too? <laughs> it, can we just get the, maybe just the, yeah, just, get, just the spit? Yeah. A, 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 it costs a little bit more. that <laughs> their children will be removed. What if I were to take two empty skulls and take one half of your brain and plop it into one body and the other half and put it in another body? Ugh, ugh dice phenoids, me. But now look at Bill Warner on a motorcycle. He's going really fast. It's a great thing to visit if you want a pivotal historical figure to flip you off. Imagine that you have an unlimited supply of balls. Today, we're going to talk about dongs. Hello, I would be lying if I said that today's show was not going to be elephantastic. I got that for Christmas and if you gave it to me and you're watching this, I loved it! Hello, wake up. No, they don't care. Let's find some random bystanders. How about you? Yes. I don't believe you're scientifically literate. Okay. If a tomato is a fruit, does that mean ketchup is a smoothie? This is literally just a squiggle. You know, I used to be a male model. I still kind of am, like right now. That is exactly what I would want to spend my last few weeks doing. Making a list to put in a bucket. I think you just keep growing. Neil Armstrong, actually, by the time I got back from the moon, was 20 feet tall, and that's a fact. Hey, Vsauce, Michael here next to a giant bird. What is the best kind of cheese to use to catch a bear? Now, I didn't just appear out of nowhere. I was born through the union of two humans, which I call my parents. It's a line of longitude, as opposed to the horizontal lines that lay flat when north or south is up, that we call flatitude. Uh, ew, I'm actually running a little bit late for tea with the queen. Human extinction will be sooner rather than later. That is a lot of germs, and those germs might be high. Obviously, you cannot cut up a chocolate bar and rearrange the pieces into more than you started with. Or can you? But I remain steadfastly committed to both channels. Knife, knight, knee. You are also a numbered ball. Alien meat fajitas. What? Okay. Whoa. Don't say okay yet, because things aren't okay. But enough about the real world, let's talk about dongs. It's time for Michael's Toys. I'm your host, Michael, and in this show we talk about toys that belong to me. Well, as we know, if you like it, you should put a ring on it. But if you like it, don't know its finger width, and only want to offer it a predetermined amount of material, you should put a napkin ring on it. 
It's gotta die. But who knows what it would actually look like? Oh wait, there's a way to know. Thank you. Thanks to minerals. Thanks for watching. I have no life and all I do is sit and think of bird games. This has a mathematical name. It's called a boat. But luckily there will be a tomorrow. Probably. You shouldn't even really be called a person. You should be called a purse on. And on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Now, if you have a pulse and are breathing, then I think we can all agree that binomial powers are one of your favorite things. Let's just call them nibblings. Opnohopmoy, a very convenient name for a wizard. And as always, no thanks for watching, couldn't care less. Hey, Vsauce, Michael here. Attachment of two people's lips kissing. <laughs> hey, Vsauce, Michael here, and today we are going to talk about time. My face is better than your face. Well, that we already established, but I'm trying to talk about the anatomy of the eye. Thanks okay. for ruining my self-esteem instead. Anytime. This is cheesy Vsauce, you're probably checking out my clip-on, flip-up shades and thinking to yourself, WTF, let's try that using this conveniently positioned ribbon. Can you imagine if your poop rose out of the toilet and they wanted to attack you? That's E. coli. That did happen to me last week, actually, but I had these weird tacos. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I wanted to get big ice packs, but uh, someone forgot to put those in the freezer. Ah. You got any more, man? Really hawk it. <laughs> if the internet was a nation, the capital city of cool things to do online now, guys, would be Dawn. That was also a flash of light. But for you, of course, everything would seem fine and dandy. You would continue past that horizon to your now inevitable death. There's the llama. So I'll see you next time, family. <laughs> Regardless of who came up with it first, the symbol was a bright idea. But what's the brightest object in the entire universe? Nothing is gonna get in the way of dongs. You don't need to get all outer spacey to have fun with your ashes. Hey, Michael here. Sorry if I sound monotone. Hello, and welcome to a very special episode of Michael's Toys. Michael's World of Art. Out here, you can do anything. It is endlessly fun, especially if you're a baby. Oh, you're looking for translational movement with rotation? It just means that every point on the object needs to move at the velocity of the center of mass. So I roll. Maybe people will think I'm a baked potato. <laughs> but I won't be. I will be Michael Stevens. You guys are my family. Being attractive might actually mean that you are better. And welcome to mm. Only humans can laugh at fart videos. Nice, nice, not nice. Case closed. And as always, thanks for wait a minute. Ho oh, ho ho, nice catch, Stevens. Hey, Vsauce, Michael here, down here. But which way is down? And how much does down weigh? Ta-da, we're done. Thank you, Pascal's Triangle. Hannah, could you come lick this? There is no such thing as great parents. No matter how nice yours are, no matter how accepting or inspirational or understanding or unconditionally full of love they are, they are not great parents. No one will ever be a great parent. But keep your eyes safe. It's actually not heavy, I'm just really weak. Here's an aluminum block, and I'm gonna set it up on its side and then let it fall. Okay, pretty easy. 
that's uh, a great demonstration of gravity. So thank you for watching and thank you for supporting brains. And as always, thanks for watching.